Hey everybody, I thought it would be fun uh, to go back. This is not me being burned out on the beta patch. It's it's coming to the main game in like a couple of days, Team Wood Games said, or, or a few days. Uh, along with the announcement that they're working on a new expansion pack, which, you know, could be a little further out, but is very invigorating news. Uh, I thought let's mix it up and try some challenges. So I, I you know, Ludwig has something called the Yoinkin Twist. It's a way that you come up with great ideas for content by stealing someone else's idea and then putting your own twist on it. Um, Ludwig actually did a challenge in Super Auto Pets called the No Roll Challenge. You're not allowed to use your reroll button. Try to get to 10 wins. That's the yoink. The twist is I'm gonna do it instead of him. <laughs> so I think he completed it. Don't get me wrong, but I've never done this before. We're not allowed to roll. That makes this shop very simple. Um, you will be buying all three animals, certainly. Um, this is not the shop that you want. I think we. I would rather get honey than freeze an apple, so I'm not going to freeze the apple. Uh, and uh, be the foamy you-know-whats. Or you know what? I'll be the uncertain sausages. How about the awkward swimmers, you know? <laughs> Something like that. Feels nice to be back on the on the standalone version, to be back on the one of one egg hat. Also feels nice, like, I, I'm not, we, whatever, we had no control over that. Uh, it's the no roll challenge, okay? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm definitely going to buy two ducks. This seems like a huge asset in a world where we can't roll. Now you just time the sale of these ducks appropriately. What would I like to have here? Pretty much every, everything that we own has a sell trigger. I don't think it's imperative that we win this round. I'm gonna move a, uh, I'm gonna move a pig to the back. They're the unit most likely to stick around because their sell trigger provides the smallest benefit. And uh, we will try again. I'm not optimistic about this um, in, in round one, but I think that you gotta remember that as the game gets further and further along, you spend more time re-rolling, you lose a lot of the velocity of money that you could have, okay? I don't know what to do, but I have some thoughts. <laughs> uh... We have a real problem. I, we could we could get three, three, five crabs and then sell our beavers and hope that they get moving from that point onwards. Oh, five, three, five, five crabs. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And then do this and this and then a sale. We didn't want it to hit you, but that's okay. Uh, we'll buy another crab. The only problem is if we buy another crab, depending on where we place it, like, something's gonna inherit this bad HP, right? So I actually think we do a lot better buying a crab, selling the beaver, and then just leaving these crabs at the front. And then we might as well send a cupcake down there, and then I will end my turn with some excess gold. So we should not be aiming, I would say, for 10 wins, like, right off the bat. Um, getting a feel for how things work is probably the, like, the most advantageous thing for us to begin with. We actually picked up a win, um, so that feels good. Like, if, if we could get to, like, three wins, I would feel okay. Remember, you can't roll. Okay, well, that changes the dynamic. Um, I would probably, I'm realizing we're kind of losing some of the value of money as well, because I will buy a swan... Now we'll buy some meat for you. And then we have nothing to do unless we want to sell a 2-3 pig to get a cricket out there. Doesn't seem too advantageous to me. So I will end my turn. Um, I think this team has a chance to get a dub in round four, which is what we're on right now. You know, our crabs kind of cracked. Rest of the squad falls apart a little bit. Sorry, I don't really have control over that. I, I'm a little bit stunned that the Crab Cascade is kind of working here. This is not what you want to see out of your, your food shop. I really need food to be like a big, uh, like an important aspect here. Uh, I'm just thinking. There's some valuable stuff here, I think. We certainly would probably want a turtle to go. 
or sorry, a pig to go. I think we should think about combining some crabs. Like, what if we... Ah, but we, we don't really want to eat a turtle. Well, we could eat a turtle. Okay, hold on. It's tough. <laughs> I think we'll combine a crab. Six, seven. Okay, understood. And then, hold on. This crab will lose some HP in the process, but that's the cost of doing business, perhaps. A whale that eats a turtle. I, You know, if you really wanted to get technical, you could just pill the turtle right now while you have the chance and get the melon armor. But then the whale really only exists as a 2-6, which is pretty bad. A dodo is kind of an interesting force multiplier for us in the future. I don't feel like it does anything right now. I'm going to freeze a pill just in case this goes terribly wrong. And then I'm going to leave it right here. Or unless I want to make... You know what? We're on round five. If we can't roll, let's make new things in the shop. Okay, now... At least, like a level two crab, we get no benefit out of it. And its meat is going to be overrun by melon armor if we want it to be. And it's going to lose HP. <laughs> the loss of HP is something we can't control. Um, I think we'll actually, I think we'll set it up like this for now. We'll put a dolphin out there on round five. End the turn with excess gold. Maybe? Let's see. Let's see. Our front line is kind of embarrassing. You know what? They're running a tabby cat that's very merciful. They might have given us a, a little bit of a chance here. Just a little bit. See that they got some meatses themselves, okay? You're gonna you're gonna get me on this one, and then the ant is gonna kill me. But you know what? We weren't that far off, all things considered. All things considered, we were doing okay. I think uh, a swan is not as helpful in this mode because we end up leaving with excess gold anyway. What I think is very interesting is the idea of perhaps a rabbit. Uh, and then feeding a unit that will be sticking around, which I actually think might be our dolphin, because you can play this into the end game if you if you absolutely have to. And I think we'll be selling our we're getting a nice buff here. I think we'll be selling our whale. This is in, insane, I'll admit, but in order to get a giraffe out there. Because at least a giraffe is some guaranteed, it, meager scaling, but some guaranteed scaling nonetheless, right? So this would be a great time to have some garlic armor. We did, we stole one of their summons. That's pretty good. We're going to fall apart here, but we're, we're doing our best. I think that I'm starting to have the pieces fall into place for how this is going to change the game for us. Um, certainly with food. We want to make sure we're feeding the thing in front of the crab so the crab gets the buff as well. And then we are we willing to sell anything? The turtle is important, I would say. Um, I think... Well, it, you could sell a giraffe, but buy a squirrel and get nothing, right? Like... That, that's not that valuable, because on the beta patch, you get a food discount, but not on the non-beta patch. What about um, freezing a skunk? Selling We don't even need to freeze the skunk. Sell the giraffe, buy the otter. Like, I'm, I'm desperate for any form of, like, buffs that I can get. I suppose we could try to get our crab to level three, and then... I, one of the ways we could make this work, I'm sure, is by, like, having a bison that helps us out a lot, but... Okay, lots of, lots of skunks rapid fire here. Holy crap. Holy crap. We made it work. That's three wins. We are on lethal, so like life is not good right now. Um, keep feeding you. I don't know what to do with meat, but we're going to give it to somebody. Straight up, if the turtle's sticking around for a bit and we don't have much else to do on the shop, so they might as well, then sure. You know what? Take this and, and take a little HP along with it. I will end my turn with excess gold. Again, four wins would be something. Hmm. Hmm. This seems not amazing. Oh, we were actually kind of in there. Okay. Okay. 
Honestly, three wins on a no roll run. I'm starting. I'm feeling invigorated. This is horrendous. Um, we have to choose what unit we're gonna keep, and honestly, it has to be a horse. I mean, and the otter is gonna stick around for a bit. Also, I understand like how the math might look on this one, but um, I mean, we don't really have other options. We could feed somebody an apple, but I actually think that if you're gonna make a like a run like this work. Like a, a no roll run, be the huge feat. Pe people think I lie about my foot size. I'm not bragging at all. It's actually, if anything, it's kind of like a hindrance. Um, I have, you piece. I have like size 12 to 13 feet, depending on the store. If you're wondering why it's depending on the store, I would like to ask you the same question. You know, well, why do I wear a medium from Old Navy, but a large from any place where a t-shirt costs more than $8? I don't know. Maybe it's a self-esteem thing. Let's go with one of those. Um, let's go with one of these. Remember, we cannot roll. So. How is this going to work? We should recognize that they're going to be combined. We can get a little extra value out of an ant by putting a bee on it, okay? And then we're going we're gonna to sell our duck. Maybe not next turn, but soon. And then we're going to sell our otter because it makes space. Okay, thank God. People are still rolling duck meta, even though it's not long for this world, which means we're going to get a, basically a free win. Let's set a goal on this one. I mean, 10 would be great, but like, let's be realistic. What if we could get to five? What if we could get to five wins? Let's sell a single duck. We will buy a dodo. Let's sell our otter. And buy a swan. Let's combine our horses. So we have space for a bee. This is a much better squad. Let's apply a bee to our fish. We want to put garlic maybe on our swan. That way we'll, we'll still get a little bit of distance between the horse and the... And whatever their last unit is. Hopefully. Okay, so... There we go. That's I'm still not like a, a horse-based individual here, but any port in a storm, when you can't roll, we'll, we'll take what we can get, right? Uh, again, this is the no roll challenge. So what would you do here? To get to a level two swan might be worth something. This is the shop that we have, so embrace it. I think we should be way less precious about dumping things that don't serve us that well. Like, for example, a 2-1 ant with honey. Normally, we might be like, oh, let's not get rid of it because it's, like, worth something um, because it has honey on it. Nah, man, I'm not selling anything else. 4 HP is, like, miraculous right now. Why don't we just buy a flamingo? Um, why don't we give a cupcake to our... You, people will say dodo, and they're not necessarily wrong. And, and let's put a bee. Honestly, let's put a bee on our swan for now. Could put it on the flamingo. We do want garlic on our swan, but why don't we just override the bee with garlic when it, is, it applies, you know? It should be totally fine. We are going to get a rat on our team. The rat's going to be a little stronger. We're going to win this one, okay? Somehow, we're at three wins. This is big! Honestly, to be able to level up at an appropriate time, this now strikes me as potentially a way that we can win. Let's keep the fish around. Look, I don't think the horse is long for this world. But I think it's not gone yet. Let's get a worm. Anybody else up playing with a worm right now or just me? Let's feed this worm. Let's make our fish a little bit stronger. Let's move you just back. Um, I'm going to... We don't need to freeze honey. There's better stuff available now. Honestly, we could get rid of our dodo, but the worm is like a unit that we can scale pretty easily in our shops. This is really bad, obviously. Like, finally, <laughs> we punched through that garlic. Garlic's going to be tough to deal with without meat. We just don't want to see pills. Okay, well, there's a pill. That's cool. Um, but this is okay because we get a level up. You need a monkey out there, without a doubt. Um, let's get rid of our horse. I, I know that means that the bees are worse, but... I think the time has come. And our worm really needs the, the gas, I think. But we'll hit you with this. 
Honestly, I'm buying this for you because it'll give you an extra 1-1. One, one. That's, that's what it's all about right there. This is not a terrible team, just to be honest. There's a lot of things that beat us, but you gotta, you know... I, I'll, all I would say, I guess, is you gotta remember the fact that, like, the reason we're running this team is not, like, out of the goodness of our heart. Like, it's... We, we got a challenge on the line here. So that was maybe a... A, a draw that I would have liked to have won, but it happens. Um, I'm not sure I see how a badger could work here. But our fish is starting to fall off. Our dodo is starting to fall off. You're going to need some garlic. Honestly, like I'm definitely a thousand percent feeding you that. You could maybe roll a badger, like a honey badger at the back. I'm still hoping we get a dodo at some point. Why don't you come up here? Let's roll honey badger at the back. I was about to hit the reroll button. I think, I think this is where we're stuck. I don't really think we're going to make a rooster, camel, blowfish work here. Um, we'll look for honey to put on our badger to basically allow us to extend our wins into our draws into wins. Hold up. Hold up. This is gonna, it's going to be the exact situation I called. Okay, honey badger wins that, though. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Well, you know you're going to eat. That's a given. We know we're going to can. I think we're going to have to say goodbye to the dodo. In favor of a, a kangaroo. Now, the kangaroo is very prospective. Like, we're hoping that our worm lives long enough to make this work. I don't really feel good about dumping anything else right now. I feel like our badger is still very important. The worm's getting some scaling, and I'm getting some hopium as a result of that. Nice hit. Kangaroos popping, man. This is a win. This is a win. That takes us to four. Now again, I think our swan has a very minimal effect, but the stats are why I'm keeping it around right now. Um... Okay, be smart. Like, this is your given. I think I'm... If we're gonna sell... The time to sell is probably now. Like, you sell your swan. Because gold is not really a big problem for us. Buy an ant and pill it. Just trying to find any way to extract some stats out of this run. Buy a, an otter. Get the stats. Sell it. And I think as as busted as this will look right now, obviously this is a way to get melon armor. And you're great if we could ever level anything up, but that seems unlikely. I think the way we play it right now is we just g basically get two kangaroos in the hopes that we get like a tukka tukka. We, like, we pass the stats down the line. Hmm. Okay, so we, we're a two squad Marty. <laughs> Life comes at you fast. And we draw. Honestly, all things considered, I'm okay with it. This is great. Um, genuinely. We're going to sell the badger, no disrespect. We're going to roll a crab. And the crab. And then we're going to just give you a little extra HP by doing this and this. And we really hope that this filters out. We want to see three, 20, well, three units with 26 HP, I guess. And then the kangaroo at the back just ready to, to reap the benefits. I guess it would have been better, like, obviously... Okay, this is the easiest loss of my life. Um, it would have been better to give one of the crabs the garlic. Or the, not the garlic, but the, uh, the chili. I, I got maybe a little bit too uh, worm-pilled there, if you will. The no roll challenge kind of makes a dragon untenable, I would say. I like this. Honestly, what if? <laughs> we did. I'm like now. I'm just searching out of desperation for something that could that could help us here. Um, I mean, I guess technically, if they're if they're gonna do a very similar thing, maybe a mammoth beats a monkey in this very unique situation. Although it only gives, it doesn't give the plus two, plus two permanently. You know, we're, we're, we're likely to get a pill at some point that might mix that up a little bit. Um, that's my hope, at least. Well, um, 
Honestly, we tried. Let's let's run it back one more time. That's a four win. I think it's gonna involve, I don't know, man. Like, first off, a shop that's actually not that bad is like a pretty good start. We'll be the um the chunky sailors. I gotta be honest as well, if you're just joining halfway through the run and you're wondering why I'm playing so bad, we're doing the no roll challenge. Life comes at you fast. We're not allowed to use the reroll button. Turns out the reroll button is pretty important when you're like uh, looking for things that would benefit you. That's fine. That, I mean, actually, like perhaps even almost good. Now we got a 3 4 cricket. Most important thing, I would say, if we could, I mean, get, getting five ducks just naturally and then rolling that into a dodo right away would also, I mean, that would be like the dream. Um, short of that dream coming to pass. This is a loss, man. Um, short of that dream coming to pass, level two, like a dog, would would hit the spot. Sell me? Don't dislike it. Buy me? Buy me? Buy me? I care not for a freeze here. Great thing about these early turns is when you can't roll, they go pretty fast. It's a scary team. Dude, Hatching Chick is like so good early on. I would love to say I'm not mad, but like I'll hit you with the truth. I'm a little mad. Like a Hatching Chick is pretty insane. This is good. Good? Wait, or is it good? Maybe we'd rather get a Blowfish out here. Yeah, you know, instead of leveling up a 2-2 Mosquito, why don't we sell it? Let's buy a Blowfish. Let's give our... Fish some meats. And you should take the stats. So not good so far. But, you know, life comes at you fast. We'll, we'll run into some people who maybe don't have the finest squads that your know, money can buy. And, and we'll make it work for us. Like, we're going to be just fine on this one. Nothing to sweat. Really, it would be nice to get a unit to level 3 and get a bison. That might be like the single most likely way for us to succeed. So, I think we'll pill you and say thanks for the memories. Uh, and we'll roll... I mean, like, a level 2 kangaroo would, would crush, man. Um, freeze me? You know, you... We're really trying to get a level 3. <laughs> <laughs> so to sell, uh, you know what though? This this helps us out a lot right now, because we're gonna get at least two triggers on the and and probably at most two triggers on the kangaroo from this. So I I, I accept this. I love this as well. We we blew up their kangaroo and substituted our own. We're gonna kill their fish. Our kangaroo's gonna be gonna be rolling. Okay. It's got a, it's like a puzzle. We're going to puzzle out the moves a little bit. We're going to unfreeze this. I don't know. Actually, keeping that frozen <laughs> might be fairly valuable. We won and didn't really have to use our cricket. Let's use the cricket as a, a scaling factor. Might not be your favorite move. We can at least put a 2-2 two -two out there and then sell it back next turn. And honestly, if we're doing nothing else... We got to put it here because there's... Well, you know what? Just send the pig out like that. Yeah. Um, it gives one more trigger on our kangaroo. We weren't going to do anything with the money anyway. Sure, we might as well fill the squad with bees. Why not? Thank you so much. So far, so good. So far, so good. Loving it. D to get two triggers out of our first ram is, is very surprising to me. But I'll take it. And we win. That's four wins. I can't believe this squad is here already. <laughs> uh, we, we have to get value this turn. I think we want to sell our fish and like understand the blowfish is a little bit better for us prospectively, okay? So we're going to buy a shrimp, sell a pig, buy a pig, sell a pig, now, the only animals we can run at the front are literally snails. I would rather freeze them and have this space to do something better with next turn. Let's give the blowfish 
some meat. Let's give the kangaroo some HP. And, uh, no, we still need you in position three, huh? Look, I'm not optimistic about winning this specific round, but I think this is... I, I, I'll I put my ELO on the line. Okay, well, look, can I tell you something? We would have lost to this squad even if we ran, like, a good team. This is a, a really, really strong squad right here. This has nothing to do with us not putting, like, another 2-2 uh, two -two snail out on the field. That's just a superior gamer. Okay, now you have to think again. I think, even though it's late, we have to take a dog because it scales. And I... I Wish that was not the case, because I, like, trust me, um, this looks really bad. But maybe it's not that bad. I mean, now we have a 7-6 dog out there already. And we'll put you closer to the front, kangaroo behind you, and then, honestly, let's have the kangaroo buff, or let's have the giraffe come out and buff the dog by plus one, plus one per turn. For at least this turn. I'm getting creative with it. I think we've performed pretty well. Like the, they, I, the challenge, I'll admit, is actually a little harder than I thought it would be. But please do also keep in mind, we're, we're going up against, like, you know, the, the hardest gamers you'll ever see in your life now. You know, this is not the no-roll challenge in, like, September of 2020, 21, where people were still like, I don't know what I'm doing in this game. Like, this is... It's pretty hot. So... Sell me. I'm not giving up hope yet. You might as well buy me. See what you get. I think some garlic would serve you well. I'm going to give you a... I can't roll, I got to remember, so we're stuck here. <laughs> I will give you a chili pepper. And I will sell you to buy some sushi. No promises. Uh, certainly a strange team built in strange circumstances. I'm just going to level with you. 25-19 dog. Kind of thing that's kind of hard to get past. And we're not going to get past it. So that's I think it's a good proof of concept. Four wins is a nice threshold for like you're doing the best you can. For now, thanks for watching. We'll try some other stuff. Maybe a four uh, squad or a three squad 10 win. It's just something to work towards while we wait for the patch to come out. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for your support, and I'll see you next time. See ya!